Okay, everybody, this is just a review of my little helmet. Yes, I'm wearing a helmet inside the truck because every time I've tried to make it work on the bike, I don't know if it's data connection or whatever, but the sound comes out garbled. So I just want you all to kind of hear the quality of the microphone, and I'll try not to talk too loud to where it will overwhelm everybody. And hopefully it won't overwhelm my mic. It is a modular helmet. It has the built-in Bluetooth microphone. The controls over here. Um, the uh, shield, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, count and close. And then it's got that little tab that locks shut. It has one, two vents up top that just click like that. It's got the chin vent, front and bottom, open and close, works well. This is, like I said, it's an ILM Bluetooth modular helmet. And if you get one, one thing you need to take note of is the sizing. I normally wear a large. I normally wear a large in everything I get. And I had to get a medium. And without this on my head, it's still what I would consider to be loose. It's slightly loose. But that's okay because I like to wear stuff like this. And most helmets, if I put this on underneath a regular helmet, then it's too tight. So I like for my helmets to be a tad bit loose so I can wear something like this to help out with sweat and other issues. So it's got the... So I showed you the vent. I showed you the air vents and it's got two exhaust ports in the back to help pull air out. It has the controls on this side so for volume up and down you rock it back like that for volume up for volume down you rock it that way. Obviously if you're answering the call you would push the button for like one or two seconds. I think it's like one second to answer and one second to hang up. Um, it's just like a little quick push. Um, if you're trying to if you're trying to activate Siri, you'll hold it until you hear the prompt to say your command and Siri it works with Siri. Um, I like the helmet, it's a good helmet. I will make a video of me riding with it just to show you all that I do ride with it. And who knows, maybe the microphone will cooperate and it won't come out garbled when I ride again. I think it's mainly been just me talking too loud because I'm bad to talk like really loud when I'm on my bike. But it's a good helmet. I like it. So... It is DOT approved. It's got the DOT sticker on the back. It's got the little release there with the little wind skirt for the chin. I'm um, trying to think. It's got the blue liners, which, like I said, they they will interchange them out if you call and tell them. Or not call and tell them. If you email and tell them that the helmet doesn't fit the way you expected, um, give them your order number, and they will send you out a different set of pads. In other words, if you ordered a medium and the medium's a little too big, which I'm thinking about doing anyway, just to have a smaller set of pads, they will send you out the small pads. I think they only come in small, medium, or large. I don't think they come in any smaller or any larger than that. Um, if you're wanting to listen to music, like I said, 
volume up, volume down. If you want to listen to music, you push it in the position of volume up and hold it for like two seconds, and that would start music automatically or whatever the last song you had playing was. And if you want to pause music, you'd push it up and hold two seconds and pause music. Um, it will pair with other helmets like this type. You can only pair three at a time. But if you pair three, then you have to toggle back and forth between the two other two helmets. Um, but it would be great for you and your passenger to have a helmet each paired together, and they can then y'all can use them as intercoms. And whatever you're hearing right now is the microphone on the helmet. Um, oh, another thing, it's got the the switch here activates the flip down visor. Yeah, it's a bit hard sometimes, but yeah, see. So, I do like the helmet. If you're looking for a budget Bluetooth helmet, I will put a link in the description uh, to their website. Uh, ILM Bluetooth Modular Helmet, it's about $179. If you're looking for a budget Bluetooth helmet and maybe you don't want to, maybe, you, maybe you're maybe you using a cheaper helmet and you just don't want to deal with having to run wires and mount something inside of your helmet and all that. Maybe you want something that's built in, speaker, speaker sound quality is good, you can hear music, you can hear stuff. Um, I like it, and I would highly recommend it. Like I said, I'm probably going to get a second one for my fiance. So if y'all have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'll answer them as best I can. Um, like, subscribe, you know, share. If you know someone that would like or that would be interested in one of these helmets, by all means, share the video with them. Tell them about it. And like I said, I will do some video of me riding before I post this, so it'll kind of be like two videos together, but yeah, y'all will get to see me riding, hopefully, and it will work out well. So, till then. Hey, everybody. I'm going to try not to talk too loud, because here lately, every time I've tried to talk loud, yeah, that's a little hard to let down. It's not broken yet. Every time I try to make this video, it seems I talk too loud and the video comes out garbled or something. So I'm not real sure on what that is. Make sure all my zippers are zipped up. Everything zipped. Everything zipped, zipped. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, I recorded one video earlier I have not posted. I'll probably merge the two videos together. That was going over the pretty much the basics of the helmet, you know, my like, my dis, if I had any dislikes, which I didn't don't think I went over any of my dislikes. One of my dislikes is that the shield isn't pin lock capable. I mean, it's not a make or break thing for me on a helmet. Um... Yeah, I think um, it'd be nice to have a pin lock, you know, to kind of reduce fog on cooler mornings, but it is not a necessity. And as I went over for it, it does have a chin vent, which is, well, it's closed now. And it's got the two upper vents. I went over the controls earlier for the Bluetooth. And I think the mic works really well. Um, hopefully this video will demonstrate that. In the last two videos I've made, I think I was just trying to, trying to talk too loud or something. I don't know. Uh, but it garbled everything real bad. I'm hoping this one doesn't do that. And um, that way I can use it.
But for $178, it's a good helmet. Uh, like I said, I've used it to make a few phone calls. A friend of mine the other day told me it sounded real well. He said he couldn't even hear the wind noise at 50 mile an hour with the shield closed. So I was checking my bags. Yeah, he said at 50 mile an hour with the shield closed, he couldn't even tell there was any wind noise. And maybe y'all can't either. I don't know. I'm only going 35 right now. But like, it's got the flip down shield, which I like, which takes a little work to, to do. But I mean, once you do it, it's, it's just like that. You kind of have to brace your palm against the helmet so you can get a little leverage. But, um, and the catches that latch the, the chin bar and all down are, are metal. So it's got metal latches. It ain't a cheap plastic latchy thing. Um, I would compare it to the, uh, like $120, um, HJV or whatever brand that helmet is. And, um, the, I, the Ismax. Um, so this is like around uh, 120 to 130 dollars, I think, for a, a modular. So I would compare the build quality of this to that helmet. Having tried that helmet on, I like it, and I'm hoping I can see that I go out trying to talk loud again, and I shouldn't. And I ho I'm hoping I can get the microphone sound issues worked out so I can use it to start making some uh, vlogs and stuff. I'm on my way home now. Obviously, I'm not going to make a hour-long video. That would just be, like, crazy ridiculous. <laughs> but I just wanted to make a short video to kind of get the sound quality a test and because I did do a test, and when I played it back, everything was in sync, and yeah, I could hear myself. Now, I don't know, maybe the gremlin won't strike again. We shall see. And if y'all can't see me, it's because of all the lights in the background, I guess. I don't know. I don't. Obviously, when you're looking at a phone screen, it's different than what people actually see in the video. But okay, well, I'm going to let y'all go and y'all stay safe out there and keep the shiny side up. Peace.